Well, hello there, Aries. It looks like as you work in tandem with the universe to release some chosen burdens, someone new comes into the picture. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is an Aries tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to those in the description box below. Let's get into it. The Proud Pirate that came out like three times last week. Number 33 reduces to a six. If you were proud of who you are, free from guilt, shame, or judgment, what would you choose for yourself today? Can't believe I have that one memorized finally. And confetti. Ooh, there's cause for celebration. Number 33 and 34, six and seven. Towards the end of the cycle, starting to really hit the spiritual growth stride. Okay, since I already shared that one let's get the definition of confetti it says you will soon have a chance for celebration whether a big win or a token gain affirming that the best is yet to come sweet success is headed your way prepare to celebrate i'm getting promotion for somebody can't hurt right <laughs> a win is a win a win is a win <sighs> It, okay. Okay. Um, this feels, whatever areas this is for, it feels like someone who has been carrying their chosen burdens, right? Work, family, whatever that is. Their chosen burdens. But it for some reason in the last like six months or so, that burden got heavier. Even though it might be the same. Um, there's going to be, I'm seeing the eclipse. So the eclipse is triggering a release. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. You're going to be able to lay some of this down. That could be the celebration. Okay. That could be the celebration. Got it. Okay. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Oh, it's new love. There you are. Falling out of the deck. Emperor, Ace of Cups. <laughs> new. We get that new, new. Okay. Let's get new. Someone's feeling a bit more stable. At peace. Okay. Queen of Pentacles underneath. Justice card of Libra. Speaking of stable. Magician. Sun. Leo energy. Judgment. Four of Swords. Hangman. Got it. Seven of Swords. I'm getting this is you, this is them, this is the situation. I'm getting that this is an Aries after releasing certain chosen burdens and those kind of washing away from life, freeing up your energy. This is an Aries that's finally admitting what they want with someone else. Like being really unapologetic about it. Not like being, oh, it's okay if they're this or this, but if they're at least this, then I'll be happy. No, no, no. This is the Aries that's like, uh-uh, I need this, 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 and this. No questions. <laughs> Very clear, decisive, okay? Because clarity creates magnetism when we manifest. The clearer you are, the easy it comes to you. Okay? So you have to be specific. Usually it's, it's usually feminine energies that are just like, well, it's okay if it's like this or like this. No, 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 no decisive clear it's got to be this 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 and this that's it that's when the universe is like okay here you go <laughs> okay this person has recently recovered from something you wouldn't know it if you saw them keeping it to themselves a bit of a secret there with the seven of swords okay they had a healing cycle that they had to finish Getting very much, um, for those of you who know about the story of Superman, how he gets his energy from the sun, I'm getting like, if they've been cooped up in some kind of way, 
they're getting their energy restored by getting outdoors regularly once more kind of thing. Got it. For someone I'm hearing, it's someone recovering from surgery that now can, has more mobility now, for example. Interesting. Okay. So they're back out in the world now. Okay. Show me the details of justice, please. There's that Ten of Wands. Page of Swords. Moon card of Pisces. Oop. Hermit card of Virgo and the world, which is fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It's not just the universe helping you release these chosen burdens, Ten of Wands. Ooh, I got to sneeze. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, pardon me. It's not just you releasing chosen burdens because the universe is taking them off your shoulders. You are choosing to close out some things because of the discoveries you've made in this process of carrying all of this. You've become aware. It's, it's really easy to remain unaware when we're used to the Ten of Wands, carrying the whole Ten of Wands. But you get to a point where you're like, I don't have to carry all ten of this. Which is good. That's good. Because then you choose to close out and the universe is like, okay, we've been wanting to take this off your shoulders, so we'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Show me the magician, please. Yes, the more this is all the indecision around what you want to manifest, the less indecisive, the more you manifest, the clearer the manifestation. Okay, don't don't fall short in the dough making process of this particular bread. <laughs> don't skip the steps. Do every single thing. Be confident in what you're doing. Show me judgment for Aries, please. Hierophant card of Taurus, Empress card of Taurus, and Libra Scorpio energy. Six of Wands Tower. It's going to shock the shit out of you. Double Scorpio energy. So when you, it's a lot of major arcana. A lot of, it's all but one out of six cards. So what's happening here? As soon as you accept, that divine feminine or masculine, if you're a masculine Aries, that part of you, okay, that is a creator. The sooner you accept that all of the power that you need, you already have, that you do have control over your life. You do. We all do. We all realize it way late in the game. We tend to, but we do. We do have it. Once you realize that 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 you have that kind of power because there's something happens where you take this manifestation seriously and you you find a way to dismiss all of the internal chaos you manifest it and it shocks the shit out of you it's like the biggest victory dance aries could ever do because it's like holy sh it fucking worked oh oh my god it works yeah it works it does work yeah show me judgment <laughs> you're so funny show me judgment uh-huh. Don't don't wallow in that too much. And don't be scared of it. Capricorn energy. It is love. It is love, but you're approaching it from air. That's good. That's good. It is a soul bond. Two of cups, six of cups. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Okay. You're viewing this connection from balanced head and heart space this time. You've gotten yourself to that point, which is great. Absolutely great. There is a little bit of the woe is me of when you see how this works so fluidly, if you are decided and clear, you get kind of sad about not doing this sooner. How life could have been before had you trusted this. Okay. It's okay to be scared as long as your desire for the thing is greater than your fear because then you'll still choose the thing in this case the new love you didn't have to be perfect every step of the way you just got to see yourself clearly that's the difference 
That's it. Because even if you trigger and go, oh, I'm I'm triggering because this person's like romancing me and they're just and maybe they'll use me and blah blah blah. It's like yeah, but if you trust yourself to navigate the situation, no matter what happens, then you'll be fine. Show me the sun for this person, please. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups. Ah, they lost a Ten of Cups. That's what they healed. That's what they were healing from. Oof, Five of Cups, Five of Coins. Wow. Wow. Okay, we'll get more into that. Hold on. Show me the Four of Swords. You both have judgment. Five of wands. Five, five, five. Wow. King of cups. Scorpio energy. Knight of swords. Seven of cups. So it took this person not as long as others. That's how it's coming through. For them to save themselves. They didn't wallow too long in sadness they actually took action pretty quickly to save themselves whether spiritually mentally therapy whatever it is that they did they actually were proactive in saving themselves show me the seven of swords that speaks to certain inner strength right knight of coins king of wands oh so this loss could have actually like tanked their libido for a bit. Double Leo energy. Okay. Um, and it's a bit of an alarm when that fire resurfaces when they meet you. Why? <laughs> That's funny. There's the fourth five too. Hermit card of Virgo. Seven of coins. Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Empress, there you are, Card of Taurus and Libra, but you're coming up as air, which is good. You're letting your mind lead the way to vet the process to make sure it's safe for the heart to follow. Good decision. So they want to know, it's kind of like you show up and it's too good to be true. It's like I, I haven't responded to someone in this kind of way since all of this. And... They see in front of them, it, when they see you in front of them, it's like they don't trust that you're truly the whole package that they've been looking for. That's their thing. So it's almost kind of like they're holding this lamp up to you, like trying to analyze you to find what's wrong with you, even though nothing's wrong with you. It's pretty funny. So it doesn't take them too long to notice, okay, who you are, Empress, Empress, okay, Taurus and Libra energy, twice here. Um, and that it's almost kind of like they didn't know they could have the option to partner with someone of said caliber. Especially after a Ten of Cups loss. Got it. What was the Ten of Cups loss? Tower. Oh, shit. All right. Three of Coins. Sun again. Chariot, they had to, it's almost like they had to pack and leave. It's cancer energy. Three of wands, three of cups. Show me who this is. Three of cups, three of wands, three of pentacles. There's an affair. <laughs> yep, secret, secret love. Pisces, moon, ace of cups, secret love. There was an affair they didn't expect. Mmm. Socks. Can you show me more about this? Third naval wands, seven wands. It's been going on for a while. Sag energy. Partner had turned cold from them for a while and cut off emotional connection. Started started, thank you. Started cutting off emotional connection to this person. They didn't see this. This person did not see this coming. It was a shock. Tower. Tower 333. 
Mm, how long has this been going on for? A year. That's Aries Taurus energy, but it, it's showing me reverse it a year. Possibly with their boss. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, um, Emperor, Justice. Wow. Does their cheating partner want them back? Interesting. This person that they're with believes that their this King of Wands' fire will bring them back to her. That the so maybe he has high libido. Maybe he has high libido, and he's thinking, she's thinking he'll be back because he needs this with me. How does she actually feel about him? Star, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands. Ah, it's bullshit. I call bullshit. Death on the bottom. I call bullshit. This is someone who's going to spout. This is that rhetoric of, oh, you're my soulmate, so no matter what I do, you'll stay with me. Bullshit. Sorry. Nope. Nope. No struggle, love in 2024. We talked about this, y'all. <laughs> hmm. For some, it's she sees the third party as the soulmate. So it's rational and okay for her to choose that because it's the soulmate. Jesus. Mm, what a freaking mess. Okay. What's Aries' first impression of when she meets this masculine? It's pretty clear to you that they went through something recently. Because you recognize someone else carrying their own Ten of Wands because you have been carrying yours. Scorpio energy. There's something about them that you pick up, some underlying thing that you know that they're sad. Anything else about the Seven of Swords? Nine, 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 you find out, you find out they're, oh, you find out they're becoming single. Okay. World, yep, it's over. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, out the door. World is fixed energy towards Leo Scorpio Aquarius. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to head over to the Extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this poor soul. I'm going to see what's going on with him in his current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there.